What's up everybody, Rob Ferretti here, and today I'm gonna to talk about the statistic that most accidents happen within 30 miles of where you live. Now I'm one of those statistics. Look at that. That's my Chevy Volt. Of all cars, that's the one I would have uh, pushed in front of the bus. Uh, luckily, I had my dash cam rolling so I can share it with you guys and that wasn't really the intention But uh, it's just a Side effect and, and a learning lesson that everyone should have a dash cam So let me explain a little bit as to what happened. Uh, I was driving down my street uh, There's two cars on the right side of the road. The one car pulled up the other car decided he was going the other way and ripped a u-turn and the problem is he didn't rip his u-turn until i was a car length and a half behind him and at that point in time i was the u-turn and you get this uh 17 year old kid probably his first hopefully his first accident and he couldn't hit a more understanding guy he's young he learned a lesson and this will serve as a teaching moment for you guys and what did we learn here first off the statistic that most of the accidents happen within 30 miles of your house is bullshit because most of your driving is done within 30 miles of your house. I guarantee you people are much worse off and much more likely to be in an accident when they're driving somewhere else that they're unfamiliar with. However, they don't drive there very often so statistically most of the bumper cars happens right around where you live. And that's what we got here. Uh, let's take a look at the car. I'll show you the damage and I'll talk you through the actual dash cam. So, I mean it's all obviously right here. Uh, the washer fluid leaked out all over the road. Uh, so it's gonna need a new bumper, probably a new hood, new headlight, and new fender. Pretty much, it's actually more significant than I thought. Uh, the hood's gonna have to be replaced. Fender's gonna have to be replaced. This is ripped, that's gonna have to be replaced. A uh, little mark on the wheel there. Then this is bowed in. And then the worst part is it sort of got pushed back a little bit. So now... It pinches there and the door doesn't open. But whenever you make a mess you clean up after yourself. So uh, I brought, brought back all the little bits and pieces to throw away so they're not sitting in the street. Uh, legitimately happened like on the street in which I live so um, luckily the kid it didn't do it on purpose it's a learning lesson I felt bad I, I didn't want to make a police report or at least I didn't make a police report uh, just because he was a friend of the neighbor and uh, ultimately uh, he had the police come over anyway and do a report just probably to make sure that I wasn't gonna claim injury or something like that <clears throat> And anyway, let's uh, let's do the break it down portion of this. Let's uh, let's break down the accident, and I'll show you exactly where he went wrong and how you can avoid doing this, and how I don't believe I could have avoided this accident no matter what I did. I see the cars there. I know they're both there. I see the one pull off. I assume the other guy was going to pull in front of me or wait for me to pass. When I saw him not moving, I assumed he was going to wait for me to pass. That's why I, I sort of went to the center of the road. At that point in time, he just evil can evil to cross the road and committed to it and now i pulled to the to the left to try to avoid him thinking that all he'd have to do is see me at any point in time he could hit the brakes and we both be like phew that was close um he just he just kept on the power and uh kept on the power right in the front uh front of the car here and such is life uh no injuries a uh, good learning lesson now this if anything reminds you why you should have a dash cam in your car a dash cam i wouldn't have had the footage of this otherwise uh, a dash cam is always running there's tons of them uh, available i've i've got the Aukie one that was actually in the car um which they sent me as a demo uh, i've used Papago before but go out and get a dash cam it doesn't cost anything it's 50 to 100 dollars 150 dollars and it's just it's not needed most of the time but that one time you actually need it it's worth its weight in gold so 
Volt is down. My guess is probably about 3,500 bucks um, for that. Right there. Yeah, 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 there. So uh, that's my guess, 3,500 bucks. Hopefully I'll get it back in a week or so. But it's not entirely drivable. My light, uh, I don't know, maybe it's sort of drivable. I'll get it to the body shop. And I will keep you guys in the loop. Uh, there it is. There's, I could have clickbaited the shit out of you with this one. Like, oh my God, Rob Ferretti, an accident. Ah, shocky face emoji. Not doing that. But if you cared, Vault was an accident. And I showed it to you. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And I will catch you next time.